Hi, in this video we're going to show you how you could run your applications using the system account. So, you know, normally you could do things such as run as administrator if you want to kind of boost the permission level, like, you know, for a command prompt or that kind of thing. But if you need to go up to a higher level, like to the system account, then you could do so using this power run program. So once you download it, it says it filed, then you just have to extract it, and you'll have your executable here. So you just double click it to run it. And then it'll have some kind of built-in suggestions here uh, for things that th it thinks you might want to use, like the command, PowerShell, Notepad. So how it works is you just either use one of these here, or you could drag your uh, program into here, or click on Add, and browse to and add your own parameters and working directories, and so on, if you want to do it that way. And you could even do the registry editor as a command and command prompt right from these two, two little icons here. And then once you have it in here, you select it, click on run file, and that's all you gotta do. So let's open command prompt as a regular user here, not even as administrator. Okay, so if we go to task manager, find that command. See it's running as Todd S, which is the logged in user. So now let's go back, leave that open. And now we'll run it, the system account here. Go back to Task Manager. So now you can see it's running as a system account. And if you want to do something else, let's close these out here. Let's say we could drag something from the desktop like, a, like this Vive Tool GUI. Drop it in there, highlight it, click on run. So that's running. Go back to task, task manager here. Let's look for V, 5 tail GUI, running as system. So, and also if you want to use the trusted installer, you could edit the uh, power run INI file by changing this to uh, one instead of zero. So this is off their website actually. So I'll put a link in the website so you could go ahead and download this tool. And then you could just, you know, add stuff as needed to there. And then you could run it as a system and give yourself a little boost. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.